Hey everyone, welcome back. This is episode two. So in this episode, I'm going to be doing quite a positive. I'm going to do a lot more combat. We're going to head out. We'll rally the troops. And we'll have to start taking out these bandit camps. That means there'll be less people stealing from us. But if we plunder the camp here, we can get regional wealth to upgrade our buildings, import goods, or we can take it to our treasury. And once we've got some treasury money, we can click on create new units, hire mercenaries, and hire armies, groups of bandits type of things. So that's the monthly cost. That's the initial cost. And then every month we pay that again. Let's go ahead and just rally the troops now. The the Baron will also try to go after the the bandits. And there's gonna be more that are gonna be popping up. And now there's so many issues. We've got 15 families and only 15 homes. So I'll just quickly get this up. I'm gonna for this section I'll make it kind of fat. And we'll put two large housing plots and we'll turn these into orchard orchards once we've unlocked that. So two double family plots. And then we're just going to uh, prioritize this. And I think oh, we're going to have to stop exporting any planks. We're going to have to just build these up. We are turning the planks into war bows, which we are exporting after we'll keep a surplus of 20. So we'll have to stop that. We're going to need just all hands on deck upgrading stuff. Uh, there's just so much we gotta do here. And I'll make a section up here. I'm gonna put a little bit. Make it a little bit fatter at the top, a little bit of a curve. We'll have better chances of getting a double family plots with. We just want small backyards. The chicken coops doesn't matter the size of the backyard. Okay, so we got three with a reasonable backyard. And when we have the money, well, it's like 25 gold for, you get a, like a, a monthly yield, I think, of chicken eggs. It's not too much, but. And I think down here, I'm going to have to make it a kind of a curve as well. Let's see if that worked. This is going to be a lane just for craftsmen. Oh, I think it worked. So that's interesting. Why is it not following? There we go. Oh, so that's the one area it didn't work. It was, I had, I almost had it. So you click on road, hold the alt button, then remove. Okay, now we have four double family lots with backyards. Uh, we're telling them to do way too much but at this point in the game so i want to get the plots to level two but they need to have all of the supplies so we'll upgrade uh, these ones to level two as soon as possible it's gonna be difficult they don't have all their needs so they don't have firewood for some reason i mean i'm definitely going to need two people doing this but there's no one to pick up the firewood so we'll have to have someone working in the storehouse and actually we only have 250 storage if we upgrade it we get 2500 so i'll do that as well and the granary person they'll pick up the food and also th these guys will sell stuff in the market stalls but the granary will go and pick up any carrots that are in here any vegetables yeah, so there's still some stuff there. So I did a lot of work and there's only two people left. I'll take them off the saw pit. So we have three people doing all this stuff. I'll leave the hunting camp. I'm going to move the hunting camp up here, build a road, and then put a forager hut so we can get some more efficient foraging. Because there's someone in the granary and storehouse, they'll go and pick up the food and the hides. 
so we don't have to worry about it being too much of a walk. And they also get carts, so it should be okay. Okay, so here's my troops here. So bandit camp was sighted. So I guess we could, like, they're going to go for whatever's close to them. They'll probably go up here first. And I don't want to be too greedy, but I, I need the money. We'll have to go for this guy first anyways. Can't really see. If you get too close, they'll send out the bandits. And I don't know why they're running. But they'll have to get to the location and then they can rest up. Even if they trigger the bandits to come out, they still have time to rest up a bit. Yeah, this is where it just gets so tricky. If you don't have everything set up properly, you start getting shortages and just not enough families. More move in, you need more food, you need more firewood. Oh man, they stole so much leather. Uh, once this is upgraded, there'll be the cobbler. That'll self satisfy their second requirement for clothing. Other shoes, clothes, or cloaks. And then this would be like a tailor or something. Okay, so they did trigger the bandits. Uh, we just set up... Like, just the spearmen alone. Like, they're not too fatigued. They'll be able to rest up. We'll keep these guys rested. Now, sometimes, like, the, the Baron will send his army. Sometimes we can slip behind them. They're fighting the bandits, and we can just plunder the tent. That's kind of tricky, though. Okay, so we've got two family plots done, and we'll watch this. And your troops will gain experience. We don't have any gambit singe, chain mail, or plate for the spearmen, so they're not the toughest. But we should do okay here. This is great. I mean, they're, if they can't get in combat, I guess they're just cheering people on, but most of them are in combat. I don't know why these guys aren't fighting. Okay, they only have 10 left. They had, they had 16, I think, so they're going to uh, break and flee soon. Okay, so we got them, and we're just going to head to the tent straight away. I don't think he raised an army, no. Okay, so eventually I'll put some additional family plots on there, we'll, we'll hold off on that. Let's get a cobbler going. Okay, so they plundered the, ta the tent, and we'll just send that to the treasury. So we have 192 from that. It's, it's kind of random what you get. So we'll select them, and we're going to go for... That's safe. Let's see if we can get up here. So they're just walking, they're doing okay. And in 365 days, there's going to be some bandits that raid us. It's it's a very easy fight. I think it's just like 16 or 18. Okay, so they've raised a military. Every time you hire mercenaries, they appear at the border somewhere. So they're starting over there.
Okay, we're getting people moving. We got 16. Ooh, only 17 plots still. Let's check on this. Oh, these should be built soon. I'm running out of timber. Okay, we got a settlement point, and... I thought I got that last episode. But we need this, like right now, everything costs an additional 10. So instead of barley cost barley or flax costing two, it costs 12 each unit, which is insane. So we have to go for the better deals. Because I'm going to be importing rather than farming that stuff. And then I'll go for the or orchards. So I can make like spears and swords and wooden shields, but I can't do the basic armor until we get these development points. But the orchards will be next. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Getting plenty of fuel now. Uh, it's March. I do want to... I'll get the houses done first, then we'll focus on the hunter. So we'll just make sure... We'll babysit these guys, make sure they're not being attacked. Uh, they're not too far behind. So in this situation, like my spearmen can engage them. It's going to be a close call and then have my, my smaller troop just run behind. So I'll have them stand here and then these guys can stop. And they're, they're basically like fully rested here. And I, I think the Baron will go for the bandits first. Okay, so we're just going to go have them attack. And we'll pull these guys away. Okay, so we should be good here. Large storehouse. Yeah, I upgraded the storehouse. I forgot about that already. So we get like uh, influence points for that. Once we get a thousand points, we can claim regions. But I'm going to wait for him to claim a region and then I'll just contest it. And if you send your army to fight, then you don't have to fight them, but you can. And if you win, you get the region. And we don't have to spend any influence points. So while they're doing that, I. Probably could make my way down here. Yes, uh, since they're just walking, they should be okay. That's that's really close, though. We'll just try right there for now. Uh, while they're walking, I think we finished the level 2 building, so we'll make them a cobbler. We'll lose them from our unassigned families. And yeah, I'll upgrade anything I can as soon as possible. Just on on this line of houses. Okay, we'll take the money from the tent to our treasury. That's pretty good. And I think I sent them down here. Okay, so we just finished the cobbler shop. Better go see what we can do here it's under commodities so we'll have to pay 25 in order to sell this and then we'll just export anything we'll keep 20 anything above that we'll export and then we have the war bows being exported too which is great so i could actually like depending what my when they claim a region it's kind of like we don't know what we're going to get for options and sometimes it sucks every month you get some new options i don't think i'm going to raise any of my own i only have nine war bows
Uh, for the church, that's going to be a, it's not too far away, but we'll make a mining pit, then a furnace to make the clay tiles. We only need 10 clay and then 10 tiles. And we can upgrade the church. So there's a ton to, there's so much to do. Oh, so we've already attracted them. And they're right now, they're going towards the Baron, it looks like. So I'm just going to sit here, not interf interfere here. I think we're good now. We'll just go and grab that bandit camp. Okay, so if they claim a region and your military guys are like within line of sight here, they're too close. Uh, any troops, any of it is troops that are near you are going to engage your guys. So you want to get your military far away from these guys before you accept the battle. You have to accept the, that the claim is happening. But the Baron sometimes, like he's not, he's going to disband the one group and just have a different army go and do the battle. But we could accidentally engage, have both battle, both armies engaged. So we'll take this to the treasury. Yeah, so there's some dire mistakes you can make. I think that's that's good for now. So I'll just bring them back and then we'll disband them. I don't know if that matters, but the people have to walk back home. Okay, so I think that's okay now. We're building... It looks like you might be raising... Well, sometimes they go into the forest and you don't see them, then they pop back up. But he might be raising a military to... Uh, claim a region, which would suck. Yeah, we're... We just have to focus on the food now, so... We're gonna move... Can't get too close, or you'll send the... The animals away. But I'll build that there. And then we can, it's March, so the berries will start growing. Let me get a forager set up. So this will be much more efficient now. We still have people. We'll go and get all the goods. We've got four left over. Right, let's go ahead and prioritize both of these. We need the food. So there's just like two more Burgage plots to construct. And oh nice, they just moved in. So we'll go ahead and we'll build a second logging camp. And we'll have to build a forester to replant the trees. Uh, we could have that right beside the clay pit, I think. I don't want to uproot any trees, but that looks good. So, 17 families. We're doing good. And these guys will come back and look at back to work. So, from here, I'm just going to expand them. Running out of food. We got one month. We're doing okay. I, I I made those ones the priority first, but they did this one down here. I should I should have left that at medium. Yeah, I'm running out of people here, unfortunately. Okay, so that's done. It's good. We'll get someone in there immediately. 
And the hunter's done. We'll get someone in there. So now it's a balance of waiting for people to come in. And... Removing people from other jobs. So both of these are upgraded. I, and these are double homes. No, we're just totally out of wood, so... We're going to have to temporarily just... Remove some of these people. We'll need two hunters. And have a bunch of people log in. Okay, so it wasn't that much longer and he decided to go and claim a region. So he's claimed down here. We'll find out where the battle is. We have to go and resolve the claim. We don't have to fight though. So where's the battle? We'll click on this. So the battle is just above of us, above us. Once we get our troops there, we can trigger that. So let's see what we can actually hire. We got 529 treasury. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, like the brigands really suck. The heavy archers might be good. Uh, if we hold off for uh, what it's May, I don't know if it just turned May, but the next month it will. We'll have more options, so I guess initially we'll just go and grab. We'll get some light infantry. Look at light and heavy archers. I mean, it's not... Archers don't really feel that effective because there's friendly fire. So you have that disabled initially. So if your troops are engaged, it's difficult for them to, to shoot. So we'll see where these guys ended up. Oh, I've never had this before. My claims are non-negotiable. Okay, so where did my troops are kind of... There's one guy down here. So you just go and you can... Highlight everyone... We'll try to bring them perhaps back here. It looks like there's some high ground. Let's go and see where their their troops. So they've hired mercenaries as well. Right. Oh, I thought yeah, right where our guys are. That's awesome. Oh come on, that's really dumb. So that's kind of like unfair. Uh, so we're going to just immediately lose those guys. And once they're engaged, there's not much they can do. Uh, I guess all I can do is... That they're already engaged, so I, I can't really control them. Maybe give ground will help out. Yeah, they're already broken. So this is what we gotta deal with. That's not too bad actually. That's like their elite group. And then two light infantry and some bandits. And they got archers, I think. We just can't see them right now. Okay, so we lost one unit already. That really sucked. Pick up the 
All right, we lost those units. So we'll jump ahead until we got all this set up. Once we get really close to them, that'll start the battle. We got a lot of days though, so hopefully we can get some more mercenaries uh, in June. Okay, so they actually followed my military here. We've got six days left until these archers until I've got to pay them again, but they're like almost dead. So I'll probably disband them. We still have 66 days left to, I think, start the battle. And I don't know if we're going to do any damage here. There's no point in paying for these guys, these guys again. Yeah, that I don't know. I've seen the archers do really well sometimes in the right circumstances. If they get really close, you click on shoot at will. But this is kind of pointless. Yeah, they're not even doing anything, so we'll go ahead and disband them. So these guys we can keep. Hopefully this will have them just move off the land. Get our guys down here so they're out of the way. I can still raise my two units down there. And then we'll see what happens. So that's only going to cost us 50 gold to keep these guys another month. Oh, come on. I dragged them down there. I thought I was far enough away. I thought they would have just walked, walked on. You know what? These guys aren't that great. Let's just take the gamble and... We'll try to raise three more units. We're only like a couple of days away. Okay, so new mercenaries. I mean, that's not bad. Three light mercenary groups. No archers. That's great. We're gonna have to hire all these guys. I don't like I can't actually get my I think I've got too many troops, so I probably should have gotten the archers before I got this up. Let's just go and see where they spawned. Okay, so we've got some I think they're all gathering over here and down there. Okay, so we'll click on this. And we'll jump ahead into when the battle begins. Oh, in the meantime, I can upgrade all of these houses except one. Except two, so that's great. Hopefully people will just keep moving in. And we have to make a barrel site for... Uh, that's under housing, I think. Yeah, just a barrel site for enemies. That's really far away, but I don't want to have them... I don't know if I can move this later, so we'll just put this, like, right at the edge. All I have to do is, it's a long walk, but I'll just dig that up and it's done. Okay, so I walked my uh, bandits over there. We don't actually need the high ground here. Because <laughs> we don't have any archers. They're not going to want to be around surrounded by trees. If we stay within our borders, I think we get a morale bonus. Yeah. So we'll just get set up. And then I think initially we'll have everyone on missile alert.
Yes, sire. Okay. okay. And we don't have any archers to defend, which is okay. Because they will try to sneak around you to go for your archers. We just pull them into our territory. Oh, I didn't realize I had more bandits coming from this side, so we can go and try and flank them. Maybe push him up this way. And we'll just send uh, everyone in except our guys. Well, everyone go for the archers up first. And these guys will make sure they're unbalanced. And we'll take these guys, put them unbalanced as well. Now, so I don't forget. Oh, they got tangled with these guys, but they're dying pretty fast. And I could have them run to engage them. Okay, we caught up with them, that's great. So this must be, might be actually an easy battle if that's all they have. So they didn't have much of a military. Okay, so we have nine days left with these guys, peace declared. So we're going to go, we'll disband everyone. There's six days, nine days left. So yeah, this is our region now, so that was great. We, we got off easy on that one. I don't know why the military was so weak. Normally it's like a... When those are heavier units, the specialized ones, and then uh, inf light infantry, bandit, and one archer. Do I have a policy point? Oh, I do. Let's go for the orchards. So the orchards will take three years. Oh, I can put some double family lots too. We'll go ahead and build an orchard there. I guess we'll get both up and running. And we'll have two family plots. Okay, we have the cobbler. We'll need a tailor. That's level two. So this one, it doesn't have the requirements yet. We're doing okay with fuel and food. It's June, so I want to get all these berries. Guess we'll have to wait for some some more immigration. They're not really getting a whole lot, whole lot there. We'll put one more. And the shoes are commodities. For some reason. Uh, the, the tannery isn't doing too much. Oh, so I guess we'll upgrade that one to level two. I'm not sure what I'll put there. So we got a new family, that's great. We'll upgrade the granary, you'll get 2,500. This one's already upgraded. We'll have some orchards there, which will be great. Yeah, and apples are actually separate. I thought they were the same as fruit, but they're actually separate. So that'll give them even more happiness to have that. 
Okay, so work on that, and we gotta get the church upgraded. So we'll go to construction, mining. This is the mine for either clay or iron. And we'll have to get a what's it called? A clay furnace. May as well put that right there. We're just doing this to get the 10 clay tiles. Uh, they did the pit, I think. Yeah, they're running up there to grab the dead bodies, it looks like. So expose stocks. So I don't know, I might, I think they're just kind of busy doing other stuff. I do have someone working. I might need a second person, I guess. Just to go and grab those. Or actually, like, my tanner isn't doing much. I don't know. It won't take too long to get 10 clay. Okay, they must have picked up all of the, the hides. Okay, this will be uh, the tailor. I'm going to need someone to make wooden shields. I think I'll make... I, I guess I can't dedicate them yet because I, I don't have the assigned workers. But that'll be like the shield maker, the blacksmith, and the tailor. I'll just have to hold off on that. It's like a family just moved in there. So 21 and 26. Yeah, so we're almost, so we're done now. We got 10 clay. Just take the worker off and put them in the furnace. And the furnace and the bloomery require a uh, firewood. The bloomery is where we make our iron. Yeah, we are picking stuff up, but these guys are just doing really well hunting. They're supposed to stop at 10, but... So at this point, I'm going to have to take the hunter down. Oh, are they going to go and go to bandit camp? I'll let them deal with that. I'm just, I get, I get so distracted with sending my troops over there. We got three families, because so I just freed up one. I think what I should do is, I do have some war bows, 30, so we'll go ahead and we'll raise some archers. We're not going to rally them, but they'll go and get equipped and everything. But hopefully they don't claim a region for a while. Should be getting some taxes too. Heavier than it looks. Okay, five roof tiles, so that's great. And then we're doing good with timber and planks. I totally forgot. I should purchase a horse for the trader. So let's go ahead and we'll just build a stable. 
right here. And then we can purchase a horse by clicking on this. We'll have to assign it once it arrives. We'll assign it to the trading post. Just gonna make sure that this is fully connected. Why did they get this? We have, uh, did I click on the horse already? Wait, did I, did I already do this? I didn't. We have a horse though. I must have clicked on it. Let's just get this done. Okay, the horse is right there. It's in the building. Okay, so yeah, we purchased the horse and we'll go to advanced. And have the horse assigned. It should tell us to, yeah, the horse is right there. It's waiting to be picked up. Maybe we should have enough roof tiles almost. We're getting, we're in September now, so I'm going to try to max out the forager hut. That's a 81 uh, fruit left, which is great. He won berries. Okay, we got the roof tiles. Now we can go ahead and oh, we need the stone. So we'll go ahead and put someone on the stone cutter camp. Okay, so we got the stone. I'm going to click on get that upgraded. And we have some money now. So if the house is up here, I'm going to start making chicken coops. This will help out a lot with the food. And then we'll upgrade those to have additional family plots. Yeah, we have two... Uh, with this one, they've got to carry every individual thing. It seems like so it it takes a while just to get all the all the bricks and everything there. Are these done already? Wow! So I'll upgrade these as well. I feel like things are running really smooth. The clay furnace, yeah, we don't need this anymore. We'll wait till everything's upgraded. And then I'll set up the iron mining and the bloomery. And then we should have enough people to actually have like a full-time blacksmith. And uh, the shield maker. Do I still have someone? Oh, they're making it. It looks a lot better. Okay, nice. So everyone's going to be happy with that. We got some influence, it looks like. So that's great. How much stone do I have? I think I'll keep someone getting a little bit more stone. And now we can focus on doing the iron mine. So like the the tools right now it, they don't do anything as far as I know. We'll just keep the bloomery right there. Okay, so the second family plot was done. Can we upgrade this yet? No. Uh, with the additional eggs, we should be should be a lot easier to start getting multiple foods. Oh, 60 apples already. Wow.
I'll keep an eye on the animals. I guess that one hunter, he's so close, is able to to manage this for now. And the berries are almost done. We don't need three there. We'll free up that now. Okay, the pantry is full. Well, the granary... People should go and deal with that. Maybe I'll need to... there initially. We're going to need a, a steady supply. We'll just build up some iron first. I think with the shield maker, I, I can upgrade that whenever. I'll put this shield maker right here. Oh, I'm short on planks. because I don't have enough people uh, pulling the, the ox is really busy upgrading stuff. So actually it might be a better idea to just keep that the way it is and have two people guide in the ox full time. Yeah, people are really happy, so they're going to keep moving in, which is great. Pantry is full. Yeah, that's just these farms. I'm, I'm sure they're probably going there and picking it up. Yeah, I mean, two people should be enough for the fuel. You would think I've got ten months. I probably just need more workers. It, you do get issues of like, what exactly are they selling at the market stall? Oh, they're storing the iron there. So you can try to keep removing them and adding them until they do the right market style. Market stall. I just don't want to fool around with that too much though. So get someone in the bloomery. So the could free up someone from there if I wanted. And we're doing really good for, for wall, so that's great. We just need, I think I just needed some planks to upgrade or something. Now we can go to, so the tail there, the blacksmith. Get adjoiners set up. And this will last. If we get shields and spears, we can take... We can fully fit out our spearmen to 36. Then we'll start importing linen and set up uh, our flax. Because flax is two gold each. Linen is four gold each. And we need two linen to make gambesins. So it's worth setting up a, a weaver for the flax to make linen and then... The tailor can make that those into gambesins. Just make all of our troops uh, survive a lot better. So are they already? So we go to general, and we can tell them these are like the ones for the the spearmen. That's two planks. Wow, we're going to be going through a ton of planks, and I still don't have a forester. But now that it's December, we can take everyone off the forager hut. I don't know if the forester actually works. You wouldn't think so that it works in the winter. I think I'll... I guess that's okay. I can't put a road there anyways.
So we'll definitely need two loggers and we have about uh, two people free and two people in the sawmill. Let's just see what they do actually. Yeah, they're not going to do anything until till March probably. So we'll just leave that empty. I'm going to set up the blacksmith though. Because I think we should have some... We have, oh, 18 iron slabs. That's awesome. We got plenty of warbos. I wonder why they're not selling those. So I guess we're, right now we don't have enough families to to fully fit these people out either. Because the archers just need the war bows, I think. So we have uh, 26. I thought we had more than that. 28 free. Okay, we'll have them just do the spears. And that also takes planks and iron. <laughs> okay, so we have basically everything except the tavern that they need. So we can work on doing that. I think a good spot for the tavern might be right here. So that's under houses. There's the tavern. And I think that's a good fit. Right there. then maybe we can fit a house right there. We'll need another Burgage part, uh, plot. We're going to squeeze one in with a double family plot with the backyard and there'll be the brewer. So I mean from here we, we can kind of go this far and I, th I think that might be okay. A little bit of a dip. So I don't know what the issue there is. Okay, so from here I can have a double family plot with the backyard. That'll be the brewer. So we'll get that done, and then we'll need a malt house for the barley. And we can just keep this. I mean, that's a perfect spot right there, actually. Uh, then maybe I could put a road behind here. And then I'm sure I could fit in like uh, another family home. So I don't know what else I could really fit in there. Probably not a double. Uh, I wonder if I can it's something there with like a backyard I don't know if I need a backyard but yeah I might have to pull around with that one we'll just leave it kind of blank for now I think it's this road that's messing things up going to delete this road. I think I should probably just have this all uh, road going all the way around. Yeah, 
I think that would be good. Ah, this would be like an interesting family plot. Oh, we got a double and a backyard. That's probably the yeah, it's probably the best spot there. I was going to build that. It looked kind of interesting. My other mouth? Yeah, 70, 80%. That's excellent. On on. And we're having shields being made and spears. Got one spear done. Oh yeah, family just moved in, so that's why no one was there. I guess some of these buildings are empty. Yeah, some of these are empty down there. And I'll just keep them one family for now. Until we need more. Like, I've got enough war bows. They got the tavern done. And this will be great. By the time March comes around, I should be done most of this. Okay, it's probably a good time to stop the video. So food-wise, we've got vegetables, berries, meat, apples. And we're going into March. We got more berries, more apples. Just kind of low on meat. It seems like we, even though it's a rich deposit, we're kind of good with just one hunter there, so we'll leave that going. Well, we don't need, we only need like one miner there. There, There's an upgraded development point that improves mines. Could go for charcoal, but converts one firewood to two charcoal, so we can, we should definitely go for that next probably. It's a much more efficient hidden source, and we got deep mining down there. Which, I don't know if I'm really going to go for that. So we've got plenty of iron. we got one additional worker now, by taking it off there. But then we need a forester, a bunch of the foragers, and hopefully get someone into here. Oh, we can upgrade this already. I'm going to do that. Just get prepared for being a tavern. Or a brewery. And then we'll need a malt house worker and a tavern. Let's go ahead and I don't I think I really should be like while I'm thinking that I've got an extra extra people. We could turn this one into a, a tailor as soon as we get enough planks. I think getting Gamison's will be much easier and cheaper before we go for uh, getting the tavern fulfilled. The tavern's going to be very expensive and it's just going to provide a, an approval bonus. And 443, that's really good. Anyways, we'll end that episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.